Number one, control the line of scrimmage. This is something that Michigan has maybe been the best team in the country at all season long with guys like Olu, Trevor Keegan, Zach Zinter, Ryan Hayes. Uh, That Michigan offensive line has done a great job protecting J.J. McCarthy and an absolutely superb job creating holes for the run game. There's no Blake Corum, but we know that Donovan Edwards can hit a gap, uh, get a little space, and get to the end zone. So uh, we're definitely going to need to control the line of scrimmage on the offensive side. Now on the defensive side, Chris Jenkins and uh, freak athlete, big body Mozzie Smith are going to take up the middle. Uh, and, and they're going to need to create some space for guys like Mike Morris, Iyabi Oki, and Jalen Harrell on, on the edge there. So uh, we got to do what we always do, control the line of scrimmage. Number two, keep Duggan in the pocket. Anybody that's watched Max Duggan play this year, that's the TCU quarterback, um, especially in this, this last uh, game, the Big 12 championship against uh, Kansas State, you guys can see what, what this guy Duggan is capable of. Um, he is not just a, a, a deep threat, really good passing quarterback, um, but he's, a, he's probably the, the I, you know, I'm going to say CJ Stroud's not much of a runner. I'm going to say he might be the best running quarterback that we've seen all season long. Maybe, uh, maybe Tua's little brother at Maryland might compare, but uh, we haven't seen a lot of running quarterbacks this season. And, um, it's going to be important that we keep this guy in the pocket. Now, on defense, we're going to have to set the edge. What do I mean by that? Well, the guy that's the furthest out on the left and the furthest out on the right side of that line is, is going to have to maintain an angle to where Duggan doesn't get on the outside and be able to turn the corner along the sideline. Um, in addition to that, we might see a little bit of spy action from from linebackers, guys like Mike Barrett, guys like Junior Colson. We might, we might see them sitting around spying on Duggan because uh, if he does get a little bit of running room, he's incredibly dangerous. So I'm excited to see what, what uh, Jesse Minter has in store on the defensive side, but we absolutely have got to keep him in the pocket. Number three, feed the Don. Donovan Edwards uh, is without a doubt one of the most explosive players in college football. And these last two games against Ohio State and Purdue with Blake Corum sidelined with a knee injury, uh, we've gotten to really unleash the Don and see what, see what he's made of. Um, he, can, he can hit the gap. He, can, he has breakaway speed. He's strong. Uh, he's, got, he's got incredible moves. He might not be quite as shifty as a guy like Blake Corum, um, but he has what I would consider the full package of running back moves. Now, his dominant hand looks like it's still in a cast. I believe he's going to play in a cast. Uh, that didn't seem to, to slow him down in the last two games. He had that big full cast on his hand, still, still rushed for you know 200 yards a game and multiple touchdowns, but um, that'll be something to keep an eye on. We definitely want to ma- make sure that he hangs on to the ball and, and uh, is able to maneuver with with uh holding the ball in his left hand but we absolutely have got to feed donovan edwards to win this game even if he's not getting um yards in the first half right like what what we saw against ohio state was they they pretty much stuffed the run you know quarter one quarter two they pretty much stuffed it but the the great thing about this offensive line and the great thing about donovan edwards is they will wear you down. By the time that third quarter rolls around, uh, you got to just keep jamming it up their throat. And that's what's going to set up the play action pass for J.J. McCarthy to roll out, run the ball, hit a guy downfield, Roman Wilson, Cornelius Johnson, Ronnie Bell. It all starts with running it up the middle with Donovan Edwards. Um, key number four, contain Quentin Johnson. Uh, we've got a Johnson receiver that's had a couple really good games. Well. TCU's uh, Johnson, Quentin Johnson, uh, is a fantastic uh, wide receiver, and he's the, he's the number one downfield threat that Max Duggan's going to be throwing the ball to. Uh, this season, he's got 53 receptions, 903 yards, and five touchdowns. So uh, those are pretty strong numbers. He's by far uh, their number one option. 
almost twice as many yards as their number two receiver on the team. Um, so it's going to be interesting. You know, we, we got to protect ourselves against big plays. Uh, Quentin Johnson getting downfield. He's, you know, we're going to need guys like Will Johnson. There's another Johnson for you. Uh, Will Johnson, Mike Sander still, Jamon Green, Rod Moore, Makari Page. Uh, you know, those guys are going to have to communicate in that secondary and make sure that this dude doesn't get loose. Um, cause if he does, he's a weapon. So we're going to want to contain Quentin Johnson. And then number five, uh, my number five key to the game, which is probably my, one of my keys to every football game, win the turnover battle. Uh, it's really hard to win football games, especially against really competitive elite talented teams. If you don't win the turnover battle. Uh, you at least have to be even, right? If you if you lose the turnover battle, your chances of walking away with a W drastically go down. Um, so we're we're definitely. I mean, it's pretty obvious we're going to want to uh, win the the turnover battle. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing who's going to rock those coveted turnover buffs at the Fiesta Bowl. Hopefully, we can get two or three guys or more uh, rocking the turnover buffs. So. You know, it, the next time we see uh, you guys, when the next time that, that, that we record uh, an episode of the Big House Bleachers podcast, uh, the TCU-Michigan game will have already happened, so uh, we'll be recapping it at that point, hopefully preparing for the national championship game. So, again, in recap, five keys. Control the line of scrimmage. Keep Duggan in the pocket. Feed the Don. Contain Quentin Johnson and win the turnover battle. If we do those five things, we will walk our way into the national championship game in January. 